The Super Bowl will kick off this Sunday in Tampa, Florida, where you can buy a shirt that says, I went to the beach and theme parks and all I got was this lousy COVID. This is Super Bowl 55, yes. The 50 fiction where we ask ourselves, why are the hell are we stealing Roman numerals to represent numbers when the Roman Empire fell 1,626 years ago? And we say here in Mexico, using, nor uh, using Roman numerals, that's fresa. No, that's muy fresa. For all those watching who don't really care about football, it's fine. The Super Bowl has many more things to watch and care about. For more on this, let's go to our experts, the lovely Ileana Jimenez. And to tell us more about the commercials that are on the Super Bowl, let's welcome Jacobo Fernandez to the show, strategy lead with Starcom Mexico. Guys, I hope you're enjoying Hi, the show. A little, a lot of We are. Today. How are you? Thank you <laughs> for good. having us. <laughs> no, of course. Ileana, tell us. Um, you were at the Super Bowl last year, weren't you? You were on the sidelines. You have your ticket, I know. One of my dreams in life is to go to Super Bowl. Um, if, if you're not really a Super Bowl fan and you don't like football, you don't watch it during the year, why should you tune in? Because like all Americans watch the Super Bowl, even if they like it or not. Up. Oh. Hold on, Ileana, you just okay, want to yeah. unmic. There right, you go. Right now, we don't have any option, you know, because everybody we are on, on our house. So, well, it's a great, uh, you know, um, Super Bowl to watch. Why? Because, you know, there are two teams. So, if, if you if sometimes you say, okay, I go with the Reds, well, guess what? This time, both teams has a similar, you know, uniform. So this time in this Super Bowl, you really need to know who is going to play. Kansas City Chiefs won last year uh, championship and they're going to play against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. OK, so the reason you have to, 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 to pay attention, it's on their helmets. So if you want to go with the, with the Chiefs, make sure that this helmet has Arrowhead featuring KC. But if you go with the other, with the Buccaneers, okay, that they are going to play in their own stadium for the first time in history in Super Bowl, you have to know that they have the flag with a pirate on the helmet. So right now, you know, so if you were choosing, about... if, Ileana, sorry to interrupt, but if you were choosing on the, which uniform looks better, which one would you choose? Just based uh, on the uniform. Okay, I will go with uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, of course. See, that's the way. So if you don't like the Super Bowl, you don't like football, you can choose which is your favorite uniform or, or who are the hotter players on the, on the team too. <laughs> you can do that as well. Now, Tom, yes. Tom Brady, uh, tell, tell us about Tom Brady because Tom Brady now has six rings uh, and he's playing again, but with a different team, right? With Tampa Bay instead of uh, New England. Exactly. It's his first season with a new team and he it's already on the Super Bowl. He's only 43 years old. He has six rings. He's looking for his seven ring and he's going to play against a young quarterback. It's Patrick Mahomes with only 25 years old. It means that this huge difference, it's around 18 years, you know, be between these two quarterbacks. So they are so hot right now. So, you know, we're going to see a lot of action. There's no, you know, there's no space that you maybe will, you know, uh, bore or whatever, because you will see these amazing stars on the field. And of course, we have an amazing half time show and commercials the weekend it's gonna be on this halftime show and Wait, who's gonna be on the, the show this weekend the no, weekend. No, no, this, weekend <laughs> yeah, this weekend is gonna be the weekend you know no no no. who's gonna be on the show i know it's this weekend the super bowl but who's gonna play in the halftime show Dad, it's the singer the, the week weekend. oh, oh, oh the, their name is the weekend <laughs> yes yeah. of course and, you know, there are kind of rumors that Daft Punk is going to be on the halftime show. You know, they say that it costs like that seven millions. And, well, there's no way that you get bored on this Super Bowl. And, of course, because now we're going to have the chance. And it's the only option that you will have on your TV. And, of course, we're going to have this opportunity to <laughs> on watch every channel, this right? amazing <laughs> advertising. Of course. It's the best thing. Yes, yeah, so let, let me cover that. Ileana is a host, and she likes to host the show. This is my show, <laughs> Ileana. I'm the host. I get to ask the questions. It's confusing. Jacobo, thanks so much for joining us, Jacobo. Thank you. Um, and, and as I mentioned, you're the strategy lead with Starcom Media, so you're 
into commercials. Now, commercials are really an important feature of the Super Bowl. Yeah. A lot of people in the U.S. watched it for the commercials. So, Jacobo, it seems like uh, some iconic Super Bowl commercials, and it's really important to advertise on this Super Bowl. Tell us more about this. They are. Every single year, we have thousands of pieces that, that we can be here talking about and, and relevant messages, right? So forgive me, Liana. I hate sports. I know nothing about them, but I can tell you a lot of this about advertising. So we see, you know, the Super Bowl is massive and reaches millions of people, not only in the U.S., but let, let's take Mexico for, ex for an example. It's reaching more than 8 million households here. So it's r super important for brands uh, to take a message out there because we know everyone is, everyone is going to be watching it. Absolutely. So l l let's talk more about in the U.S. There's about a, f uh, you were mentioning $5.4 million uh, for a 30 yeah. second ad this year. Uh, we know that, yeah. that the big boys like Budweiser and the, the famous Clydesdale horses that we saw in this commercial not advertising. Uh, some other people pulled out, but what we're seeing is that there are going to be some newcomers coming to the Super Bowl. So tell us more about this. Yeah, so there. I think the Super Bowl is a space. Uh, it's a wide canvas for brands just to take over and put a message out there. It has to 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 get the compliments of a uh, good storytelling, something that uh, you know tells people a big big message. And I think this year is going to be very relevant because of the pandemic and stuff like that. Uh, brands are going to be telling a story beyond just by the brand for me, right? So you had to be you, you. You're going to see a lot of brands uh, taking a really positive message, empathic messages about about what's happening right now. That's that's really important. Tell us more about here because most of our viewers are here in Mexico. We're going to be watching some of the commercials. What uh, what players are usually here in Mexico, and, and and what are you expecting on Sunday? Yeah, so we see a lot of players uh, from national blog broadcasters, Televisa, TV Azteca, ESPN, and, and others. But people here really have a passion for advertising uh, for the Super Bowl, and and you can watch the ads afterwards on the game on YouTube, right? So people go off in there and share their best pieces because they found a relevant message here. So we we know as 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 for media, we know that people's going to be sitting down there watching the game, but also expecting and looking and using social media to 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 have a conversation about where the ads and the messages that are being put in out there. So it's a perfect place and the perfect spot to be judged and to be heard yeah, as a brand. Absolutely. Now, now Pepsi is doing an incredible uh, campaign this year. As Eliana mentioned, uh, the weekend will be there, and Pepsi yeah. has linked the weekend uh, music uh, to 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 their brand. Tell us more about this strategy yeah. and, and and how do you think this is going to play out for them? I think as Pepsi is, you know, the you know the brand awareness that they have is huge, and uh, their relationship to music and big sports events like this, it, it's amazing. And there are so many other examples from other brands that tend to do this. So, uh, product integration and and finding the right relevant message in a in a in a big and important uh, event like the Super Bowl, it's a perfect place to have this type of integration. So I think it's going to be very successful. Um, and people are, will always uh, remember this. Absolutely. Yes, so, and, and, you, uh, and you know uh, what? Uh, the weekend yeah. uh, has the most popular song on the 2020. Have Have you exactly. done the TikTok? Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 I haven't. Know? I haven't. I, I promise I will. I can do it with you. <laughs> 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 of course, Liliana. Uh, who's your pick? Uh, the 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 Bucaneros or the Jefes? Would uh, Indian Chiefs uh, beat uh, Pirates on ships or vice versa? Yes. No, yo creo que ganan eh, los Jefes, Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, I go with them. City Chiefs. I'll go with Michael, those. I'm not going to ask you because you don't care <laughs> about any sports, but uh, what is the commercial? What is the brand that you're going to be looking for to watch on the commercials? Uh, well, uh, PNG, of course, because I work with them. So probably <laughs> Tide, which is, uh, yeah, it's our client and I love them. Uh, McDonald's as well. And let's see what, what other, where other surprises may come along. Okay, well, another surprise, and I'm sorry, you guys, because we are in sana distancia, but um, if you're hungry in the Super Bowl, um, you can order one of these beautiful 
Uh, Gringo barbecue boxes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You're gonna have uh, to pay. You're gonna have to pay your app for that. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 I. And as I said on the last show, if I was to marry something, I would marry this. Uh, BBF. Um, we got all these things. You gotta. That's a good back. one. That's a good right. conversion, right? Back on. <laughs> yeah, that's a, per that's a perfect integration. Totally. I hope you're paying. Uh, I hope you're really music. paying for this. So, uh, I can make the music um, and then. Anybody wants some mac and cheese? There you go. That. Oh wow! So boxes are available uh, on the WhatsApp uh, down below and at pgbbq.mx. Um, <laughs> have to pitch our sponsor guy, Pinchy Gringo Barbecue. They're paying the bills, so you can get all of these things. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, beer and sandwiches and pickles. Uh, and everything on those. So support your uh, local uh, restaurants. Ileana, it's always amazing to have you on the show. Jacobo también uh, for joining Thank us. Thank you we very really much. Thank you. And then let's watch those commercials. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you Bye. Bye. Gracias.